Graphic design is dead. Now we all know what a Snapchat filter is, right? We've all used Snapchat before. They make you look pretty or funny or, or other stuff. But what they most of all make you look like is a fool and an idiot. If I see a girl on a dating app and she has a Snapchat filter on any of her photos, Swipe away, swipe away, I, swipe away. I don't fuck with that. Here's my take. These face filters, as they call them, are killing the graphic design industry. And here's why. I'm a professional graphic designer. I haven't talked about that at all in this channel, on any videos. I posted about it on TikTok once or twice, but you guys don't follow my TikTok, so whatever. You guys, you guys don't care about me, I guess. So, I may as well go fuck myself. I used to make a lot of money off of it. What graphic design is, is where you take someone's face and you, by hand using a program, modify it. And I was pretty damn good at this. I, I, I made several over m the course of my career. They take a lot of work and they're really, really hard to make. And, and, and they make me a lot of money though. It, it's worth it in the end. I've only been able to make like four or five in the uh, 20 years since I've started doing this graphic design gig, as they say. But with the advent of snap chat filters and just face filters in general, it's not just Snapchat, they're all over the freaking place. They're on Instagram, they're on TikTok. I get some of them are funny, but that's wrong because it's taking away jobs from people like me. Face filters are killing the graphic design industry because I'm supposed to be making funny face filters and I made a lot of money off of it for 20 years, but now I make like a dollar an hour because the face filters are just making everyone's faces funny for them. What am I supposed to do? Like, check out these guys. These are some of my creations that I've made over the course of 20 years. I should do a speed, a speed creation. I should like time-lapse me making one. It'll, it'll be like a, a month long because it takes me like five years to do one. But, it, but like, it's, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. I think what I do is very respectable. I take it seriously. I know this is supposed to be funny, but, you know, comedians like myself and graphic designers like myself, we have to take our job somewhat seriously, even when it's a little goofy, what we're actually doing. So in my opinion, I'm, a, I'm an artist and Snapchat is not an artist. It's an app. So that's kind of weird. And here, here's some... Snapchat filters. These look like shit, don't they? I, I, I mean, I mean, I can't. I, I can do this in like a minute. Well, no, I can do this like in a year because it takes me a year to make one. Sometimes five. When you look at my face, what do you see? Do you see something funny? What's funny about this? Nothing. Nothing's funny about my face right now because it's normal. If I edited my face like this, it would be funny, it is funny, but alone, it's not. I think part of what makes my face edits so funny is the fact that I put so much effort into them, like somewhat. It's like, oh, this is like funny, and it's made even funnier by the fact that someone really put effort into that. And you might think that kind of delegitimizes my talent, and it's like, well, why would someone do this? I do it for money. Gotta have a sense of humor about myself sometimes, you know? Let's just say, the graphic design industry, especially my line of work, the face edits, is in hell currently. It's it's literally beneath the ground, basically, and it's burning to the ground. It's in hell. And, you know, you might say, oh, well, face edits, you know, that's only part of the industry. It's not killing the whole graphic design industry. I don't think you realize how big of a segment, se uh, uh, sector, that my line of work is in the whole industry. There are hundreds of people like me, you know, doing commissions, taking commissions from people who want their faces to be funny, or at least we were before Snapchat came along and started a fa faces, faces. One thing I can't do is make you look prettier because, you know, I like to tell people, oh, I can't make you prettier. You, you, you are already so beautiful. Like if a, if a girl comes up to me and says, oh, can you make me look prettier? Um, instead of saying that I don't know how and embarrassing myself, I go, yeah, well, you're already pretty beautiful yourself, so you don't really need any fixing. And she's like, no, but I need this for a school picture. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're so beautiful, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful. And she goes, okay. 
And then I realized she's in high school, and I, I probably should have eased up a little bit on the beautiful, the beautiful thing. Um, but you know, I didn't know. It's okay. Here's my here's my thing. We have to destroy Snapchat before it can t it fully destroys me, because if I don't have my graphic design work, I mean, I'm on YouTube and TikTok, but I don't make much money off of that. I make money off of these commissions, man. It's really messed the hell up, you know? Really messed the hell up that Snapchat and Instagram and TikTok are doing these things to my business. This is the thing about, you know, small businesses is that as a Republican, I'm all for corporations like Amazon and Google and all those fellers. But when it comes to, when it starts to affect my small business, I can't deal with it. I can't, I, I start to get, I start to tremble at the fingers. My fingers get all cold and like numb. It's like my whole body's falling asleep. Sign my petition to end Snapchat and Instagram. Don't, I know I mentioned TikTok, I'm on there, I make content, don't take TikTok down. I don't use Instagram or Snapchat, so I don't care. It's that, that simple, buddy. So Snapchat, if you're, if, you're, if you're watching this and you're the CEO of Snapchat, watch out. You better watch out, you better not cry. You, you better watch out, you better cry because you're scared of me. You better look out. I don't know. I don't remember the song. It's it's like Halloween. It's not even Christmas. I hear that song like once a year during Christmas. And then it reminds me of what the lyrics are. It's been quite a bit since I've listened to it because of that. So, and you know, there's also the whole thing about young girls using Snapchat to look prettier, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and it, it gives them body dysmorphia. I don't really know what that is, but I read about it and it sounds like it sucks. Girls, you're beautiful with and, or without you're beautiful without Snapchat filters. Like I said earlier, you're already beautiful. I can't fix you. It's the same deal with Snapchat. Ladies, you're beautiful. I don't know what body dysmorphia is, but you should get that checked out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Please. It sounds serious. See like a blood doctor who takes your blood and runs tests on it. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for Snapchat to be giving these girls body dysmorphia. Let me look that up, actually. I have my laptop right here. Body dysmorphic disorder. This is a disorder. Kind of fucked up. BDD. Kind of fucked up. That's a, that's a scary acronym, I think. Like, it just spells disaster when I hear that. You know what I'm saying? It affects at most 2.4% of the population. Of what? Of the world? The human population of the world? <clears throat> that is like probably a million people, if I had to guess. A million people were affected by Snapchat directly. This is like a legal issue now. We can't let Snapchat keep doing this, can we? I mean, I'm just I'm just reading this right now and it sounds pretty bad. And I, I, I think Snapchat's to blame, obviously, because it, it, it's the only explanation. Snapchat is the bad, bad thing. Hey. If I'm offending any of you Snapchat users, just get off Snapchat. It's easy. It was easy for me after I left high school, never touched it again. It's, it's really, really is a high school app for, um, if it's not for high schoolers, it's for drug dealers. And I don't like them. I don't like drug dealers. Lock them up is what I say. Uh, lock them up. It's a little Trump reference for you. Trump impression. Um, this is not, this video is not about politics. Um, but if I was a drug dealer, I think it would be okay. I think, I think I'd be a good drug dealer. Like one of the good ones. They're not all bad. Just the ones that use Snapchat pretty much. Snapchat drug dealers, lock them up. Lock them up. Yep, get them in there. <sighs> That's another thing I've been doing for 20 years is my Trump impression. I mean, it really only got big in like, the 2016 to 2017 time period. I was doing it when I was watching the TV show that he'd had, the the, the dentist, um, where he was a dentist and he did fix people's teeth, I think. Well, I, I haven't seen it. Um, I've seen clips. I know what his voice sounds like from there, but uh, I haven't really 
watched it, but I do know what dentists do, which is clean teeth. So I'm just going to assume that, I mean, what else could that mean? Right? Dentist? Oh, no, it was called a pencil. No, that's not right either. Donald Trump is not a pencil. I don't know. With that rant out of the way, I'm going to bid you guys fare farewell. I'm sorry this video took so long to get out. I promise from now on, daily uploads forever. Um, not gonna waste a, not gonna miss a day ever again. I promise. Go listen to my album or my EP. It's called Funk Size. It's it's on, it's on my channel. It's under the name Funk A with three Y's. Pretty good stuff. Pretty funky according to everyone who's listened to it and myself. So fuck Snapchat. Fuck body dysmorphic syndrome disorder, whatever the fuck. And fuck me, I guess, because you guys don't watch my TikToks. <laughs> yeah, that was a little uh, referenced earlier when I said you guys don't give a shit about me. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye, bye, bye.